it. That was some of the highlights for me. 
Now, my rating of this film. He has two ratings, I'll tell you that now. I have one rating as a B-movie horror. He has a bullshit scale. rating and he has a horror rating. Is this even really a B-movie? This is definitely a B-movie. They made documentaries about this movie. Is it, so what constitutes a B-movie? A, a low-budget, bad horror movie. Something that's supposed to be bad? Yeah. Or, okay. Yes. No, this was it, supposed to be bad. This was supposed, to, was be supposed bad. to be bad. As a B-movie that's cringy and good, I rate it as a 9 out of 10. What? Um, it's not perfect. But it is really entertaining, and uh, I really uh, enjoy watching it. And it's a good message. Too. The execution for it was good. It was cheesy. There was a lot of points where I was just like, that's lame as fuck. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I could do better. Which is something that I like in a B-movie whenever I'm like, oh, I can do better than that one. I clearly can't. So as an actual movie, this movie is fucking terrible. It is really bad dialogue, acting, graphics. Writing the story doesn't make sense. Um, the 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 face looked completely stupid and what half the, the fucking kills. mutated dinosaur. And half the kills didn't make sense. Um, and also logic, like the guy that just saw the the scene you missed. He just randomly went up to this guy that's in the forest, and he's like, "Hey, I, are you mother?" And then and then <laughs> and, and then he he said, "No, get off my land." And then he takes a look at him. And he's like, "You ain't right, boy." And he kicks him on the ground and goes to piss in his face. I've never been to Australia, but I don't want to be... I, I'd like to think that the average citizen wouldn't just piss on an ugly person's face. So, as an actual movie, my rating is two. My, my name is Arthur Joker, and I didn't watch the full movie, so I'm also going to give the weird half review. So, I only saw from the... What would you say? The half of the sit-down storytelling. Would you guys consider that half the movie? The sit-down tell the, tell the story at the Christmas circle? I think sure. he was still in kind of the beginning. You were still kind of the beginning-ish. Still kind of in the beginning. Yeah. You missed maybe 15% of the movie. I would say that this movie is interesting. Like, as a B-movie, I, I would say I enjoyed this movie. And what I mean by this, I enjoyed the interesting ways they killed people. Because it didn't make any sense. And that's kind of fun, because if it made sense... Th like, if, if they got... By killing people in weird and strange ways... You kill people in ways that would never be possible, and so to see the way that people carry that out is quite interesting, and that's fun. It's one of the reasons I like um, other B movies where they have lots of gore-specific kinds of, uh, of you know, people ways of killing people. So I really enjoyed the bear trap on the sheriff. The umbrella was really cool because it's like stuck the umbrella in, and the umbrella looked like it went in that far, but then it somehow opened, which I mean. If you can close an umbrella by doing this, there's no way it opens and like rips somebody's head open, like a reverse bear trap from Saw. The blender was really cool, but it was very interesting because there was no blood being squirted at the very beginning. There's no and his hair was getting ripped off. It was just like, was like the blender's there, but it doesn't show where the blender is. You hear the blender, and you're like, wait, where's it at? And then it's like, oh, his eyes start spinning, and then blood starts squirting out of it. And I was like, ah, that was pretty cool. I was very confused by that last scene. The guys tried to explain it to me. But if they had not explained, even explaining doesn't make a lot of sense. I feel like you still didn't get it after I explained it bit by bit. You were just like, but how's she doing? I'm like, I told you. No, 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 no. It's not the explanation. It's, even when you explain it, it doesn't make any sense. What I mean by that, it doesn't mean that the scene doesn't make any sense. It means the interaction doesn't make any sense. I was very confused by that end scene. It didn't seem to make any sense. How would that constitute what had happened? You know, she's jumping out, she's saving the child, but she's jumping out the window and hanging herself. She could have easily turned around and grabbed the chain. Also, how would that have killed the guy? So that weird death scene at the very end was not a spectacular one. It wasn't an overtly goofy one. It wasn't a weird one. It was just kind of awkward. As opposed to having some of the other deaths, which are really fun, like the slow teddy bear stab, or the bear trap, or like... It, it, it gave me Jason vibes, you know, weird person, can't see their face, they're mutated, you know, where's my mother, kind of a thing, which is the same Jason thing, uh, runs around and kills people, mysteriously pops up places, like, how did you get there, how did you get here, how did you get up the stairs, how did you get down the stairs, like, you obviously had to get up the stairs past Jerry, but where did Jerry go, and how did he get into the house after we fall down outside, before mom got inside, you know, those kind of things. I enjoyed parts of this movie. But at the same time, I feel like I missed all of the weird and awkward parts at the beginning of the movie, like penis bite, weird, awkward masturbation and other stuff. The rest of it was just kind of 
like weird cheesy dialogue that made no sense. I enjoyed the whole stupid people running around, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there. But I also didn't like that because it was done very awkward and it was weird and it kind of took away from the whole thing. They're like, oh, I'm going down here, oh, I'm going up there, I'm going over here. <laughs> I'm not going to give it a B rating. I'm just going to give it a regular rating. And a lot of it, like the Jason vibes and uh, gives it a lower rating, but the, the killing gives it a higher rating. I give this movie a three. I think it was bad. I don't think it was terrible. Like, um, I, it's not like I want my time back or I want to scowl my eyes out. I feel like if I watched the beginning of this, I would probably give it a, a, a two. But I didn't. From what I watched of this movie, I'm going to give it a three. This is a bad movie. There's definitely some parts that are interesting. The splitting, the this, 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 this sister, I guess the sister in half was the first death I saw and it was very interesting because it's not very practical and you don't you only get that in a B movie in a bad movie you don't get that in good movies like Saw or, or other movies that they, they can't do that because it's an, an inaccurate way to kill someone this is a movie this is a movie this is a movie where... <laughs> this is a movie. We live in a society. I, I feel, feel like... This is a movie. I feel <laughs> Did you like... This is a movie? I feel like this is a movie to where you can either sit there and make fun of it, or you have to watch it under the influence of something. Because... No, you don't. Just don't watch it at that point. <laughs> well, we're, do, to, we're doing it, drug, we're doing it for review, it. Pro, uh, review <laughs> purposes right now, so... Don't it's, watch it. The first time I watched this film, I was completely plastered drunk. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember... A good portion of these movies, and now that I've seen it again, I kind of wish that I didn't see it again. But, points aside, um, I personally feel like this is a better produced, better quality, better over the top bullshit movie of Blood Widow. Do you remember Blood Widow at all? What's that? An old B, an old, like, low, below budget, like, trying to be serious B rated movie that didn't really pan out too well. Here's some clips or pictures if I can find them anywhere if they even exist. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the dialogue. It's, it's really odd because what's being said, like the topics and everything, complete utter bullshit and stupid, but for me, it's like the, the the way the lines are delivered or way, how they're like saying the lines, even though they don't make any fucking sense. I feel like the interactions between the members were actually good. Like they've, they've actually been a family for a while. It's just the topics being said is stupid. This is definitely a movie. <laughs> Again, this is a movie. Oh, the kills are produced very well, even though they're complete utter bullshit. That's it. Makes it fun. I don't know what to say about this film other than it's, it's just the greatest film. No, ever. no. Mm. The, the the sad thing no. is, is like it's unbearable to watch, but it's not. It's hard. It's. I've seen you rage out at other movies way more. You were very calm during that one. Yeah, because I didn't know. Like, Watching I mean, the rage, no pun intended. You were. I'm watching things killing both times in my life. I, I've raged the most. It's like this movie pisses me off, but it's just, I, it's t I can't take it serious. I start making fun of it. What about it pisses you off? I feel for Cletus. It's like, it's, it's, I put it in the same category as like, just not like production wise, but just story wise, the same production level as like Thanks Killing or The Rage. But quality wise, and how the lines are delivered, how the kills are that actually look decently good, makes me like the movie. So it's like, it reminds me of those bullshit movies right over here on the screen, but it's also like, huh, it's kind of the same quality as your average looking Jason movie. I don't know why Jason keeps getting brought up. It's another note I want to make. And every movie we make, Jason gets brought back but from the dead. I am going to make it short and sweet and say this film is going to get a 2.5. Because, again, I don't like this movie. But I'm not going to ignore the fact that they actually put some effort in some bits here and there. But it's just the story <laughs> makes no fucking sense to me. Even though it's right there on paper, it's just like, who would have done this?
watching the movie refused to call it by its name but after this movie I can call oh, it's, I, I'm laughing so I don't cry I can call Happy Things Killing by itself and this is now Llama Movie <laughs> I'm gonna first start with my rating and then I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna give this a rating of radioactive green blonde colored slime or Weird, furry, sex dungeon. That's what I, I don't know. I don't want to give this a number. And the things up here at the top, this is a zero. It says I want my time back. <laughs> I want my time back, which is uh, right over one, which is never ever again. This movie's not worth the time explaining why this movie shouldn't be watched. If you were gonna watch this movie and like you absolutely wanted to watch it. I would say only watch the animated scene at the very beginning, and that is it. Because the animated scene at the very beginning, like Mike, Mike said, it is pretty good. That animated no, beginning no, no, scene, no, 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 the first no. animated scene is good. Everything Listen. else is total trash. Do you already gave your review? No interruptions. Let me finish. You can you can talk after. <laughs> 
We're gonna. This is our new tie mic down in torture room with it, movie. We're just gonna tie him down and watch it on loop. They in the credits roll the damn movie. The only reason this is not getting a absolute sub zero is because <laughs> they did some like they were funny like that it was it was really bad. They were like like half laughing in places like this had to be a joke on purpose. Like there's no way they're like, it's such great quality. Which makes this better than the Halloween, the, 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 the clown movie, because I felt like they were trying in the clown movie. And it was just, it was just bad. This movie, it's like they were bad on purpose. Like they were out of their way purposely doing stupid shit. The deaths weren't cool in any way. It was kind of weird, the running around and the awkwardness and the repeating a lot of stuff and zooming in stuff and things and movie tropes and stuff. And I guess it was kind of fun, but I don't necessarily want my time back, but I don't ever want to watch this movie. I would be glad to tie something down and make them watch this movie. Whoever animated Bone Bone Eye and Stone! Watch out! You owe us! You do. Whoever animated the beginning of this, I feel like they should go into making other things. But everybody else who made this, unless it's the director, if it was the director, no. Whoever did this, this is, this is terrible. This is, on a critic scale, it's very bad. On a B movie, I would say this is absolutely an 8 out of 10 on the scale of shiitake mushrooms. What? Because none of this, this movie would be like, what's the most ridiculously stupid nonsensical stuff we could say, do and act and have as much fun with it as we can. And I think that's what this was. It was just people trying to see how much fun they could they could have and then publish it. Also, why the fuck did Bush sponsor this damn thing? I'm going to give this an actual rating of point two. Point two. I don't know what I gave Happy Things Killing. I think I gave it a negative two. You gave it a negative two. Okay, to the financials. Yeah, that's that's, that's it. So I give it a I negative will, point two. I'll start with the ratings. There Which are zero worse. ratings on Rotten Tomatoes for both critic and audience. What do you want to give a rating on? You I wonder why. You heard that here, folks. They rated it with a zero. There is a zero <laughs> rating. <laughs> they, they see the trailer and say, fuck this shit. We're the first ones. Uh, okay, so, oh, goodness. Surprise, surprise. There was no box office for this one. <laughs> I could not find anywhere. That no film had, festival? <laughs> no film festival. No financial information anywhere. No DVD sales that I could find. Um, so their self-promoted budget on their website says $30 billion is their budget. Oh, shit. Upon further review, I did not believe that, so I did some deeper digging. <laughs> the, actual, the actual budget was $3,000. That's what I guessed. I was like, it's probably $30. So so it had a smaller budget than Thanksgiving by $500. Yet they had lots of lasers. They had probably, a much bigger cast. They probably used the iPhone movie maker app that has all the free explosions and stuff on it. And, and they had a lot of fireworks. So this one I actually wrote a legitimate review on because I felt like this was a good film. On my pods of negatives, that, which I'll quickly go over as usual, no penis in this. Um, there are six things I liked about this film and nine things I did not like about this film. The things I liked was the opening was really good. Oh yes. I really liked the trailer, how it was, it, it, it was a plane. That spaceship thing, that was cool. The fireball at the very beginning sequence was unique. It was circular. <laughs> Uni uniquely cheap. <laughs> yes, uniquely abnormal. Um, I meant to write this as a negative, but I was so angry I didn't. Helicopter logic. Why did they need to fly in on a helicopter to look at this? And then we go, okay. Send them back to the thing. And then, and then we, we also, the guy was like wearing helicopter. a plain ass shirt and blue jeans. That was even cool. There's a trailer, and then apparently if these are somewhat authorities, how come they didn't? Try to track down this llama. Sweet. Mothman reference was cool. I like the Mothman. Um, the reference to Lethal Weapon when they said, I'm getting too old for this shit. That was good. And then the laser kills were cool. Those are my positives. That's what I liked about this film. And then the things that I don't like about this film is the acting is one of the worst acting jobs I've ever seen. <laughs> the very beginning scene when the couple, the couple are sitting there and they look over and one of them's like, look at that. He's like, what is that? Like, you can't tell this fucking llama. The llama. This is stupid. The audio dubbing was stupid through the whole movie. 
the lightning throughout the storms and the entire storm, I mean the entire shocking thing, all looked stupid, so CGI was that. The cringy sex and close-up uh, face things was really bad. Oh, that was so awkward. Uh, Mimi Pet Pet was awful. I, I needed the Mimi Pet Pet nickname. Mimi and Pet Pet. I put Dub Over on there twice because it was so fucking bad throughout <laughs> the entire film. They couldn't even film things outside. When they did film things outside, there was wind blowing louder than the actual audio. Yeah, I think they noticed that halfway through. Like, we gotta dub the rest of this shit. And there's two sentences that were just so cringy that I had to put on here. Number one, man, I really can't believe Pluto's not a planet anymore. <laughs> and then, <laughs> watch out, Plab. <laughs> Plab. What? The hot tub scene, they're like, Oh, you guys look like you're dead. Let's jump in the damn hot tub. Now, I will get on to my um, factoids and my goofs for this one. Um, my first factoid is the llama had a name, and his name was Louis the Llama. Yes, they were saying, put it in the end credit scene. My second factoid is when this film was first released, on, uh, it was released onto Amazon for sale. And if you wanted to watch it in high definition, it was $1,000,000.99. And if you wanted to watch it in standard definition, it was that minus about $5. So, it was how much to watch it? $1 million and 99 cents. To watch it on what? Amazon. Uh, definition on Amazon Amazon Prime. Prime. Yeah, that's how much it cost to rent it. There was a bunch of articles online about it. Would you pay $1 million? <laughs> I want to know if somebody did. Well, that would have, if one, the logic is, if one person bought that, then they fucking made it. <laughs> Because it only cost three thousand dollars. So I was like, goodness. Now the most, my favorite fact of this film is Dan, the black guy that kept changing his shirt. <laughs> it's so good. He changed his shirt twenty-three times, an average of of one per three minutes of the movie, and uh, there were the movie was exactly sixty-nine minutes long. My review for this, I was torn because it is a fantastic B movie. It's a terrible movie. <laughs> But it's so bad, it's so good, I'm torn, they so I had to go right in the middle at a five. They, they even laughed. The fact that they laughed makes it good, because even they yes. couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> yes. Throughout the whole movie. <laughs> now, if you go to the IMDB webpage for this, there's a, there's a section. IMDb? Yes. There is a specific question on there, a section on there that's for goofs commonly messed up things. Like, through the film, at 35 and a half minutes through, you can see the cameraman in the bathtub. That's in the bathtub. The water hole. In the vomit. The goof for this movie was, this movie got made. Oh! oh, oh that's so bad. <laughs> that's not a goof. They obviously had fun. <laughs> this is a dumbass movie. And on that note, I'm closing this review. For those who don't know, we are also watching these films the same night we're going to be watching Resident Evil The Final Chapter, so we are finishing our Resident Evil series the same night we're watching these films. We're getting ready to watch the final chapter. We're already in a horrible mindset, at least I am, and uh... It'll make it better. Pray for us, please. This is Mike Check 95 along with my cohorts. And Orphan Joker. And the pets walking around the house, and we are signing out for this October Horror Fest movie review. Someone please... Speaking of killing Oh, wait. He gets to ask the question. Who's this? This is Howie. Howie! Hi, Howie. How are you doing? Always today? ask the question. Why not? And who would? And also. Why is it now okay to put furry egg port on the damn movie thingy? Have a runny day. The reason why I missed the last film was because it was about the bullshit. I'm not even going there. <laughs>